We've got a lot of people here. Let's talk. So your semester exam um, is now written. We have it written on paper. We just got to figure out how to put it into Schoology. Um, no, never really written tests in Schoology, so that's probably the longest, hardest part for me. So we got the test ready, though. The test will be ready on Thursday. It'll be open from 7.30 to 1.30, those of you at home. The rest of you will take it in class, okay? It is 15 questions and 79 points. So it's around the same as just a regular old test, okay? Um, so again, um, if you do the review packet, I'll let you use the review packet on the exam. Um, so hopefully you don't want to really rely on it. You want to be able to do these by yourself. But if you needed to check something, you could. Um, so by doing the review packet, you should actually be more prepared for the actual test. If you're going to think you're going to look everything up, you're going to run out of time in the 45 minutes. Okay. Um, so do the review sheet. We made sure that every question on the semester exam is on the review sheet and vice versa. So it's all there. Um, there is one kind of thinker I tried. I just wanted to put one little application question on there, um, but it's not that challenging. But I tried okay, to give you one to kind of think about a little bit. Um, there are two things, I guess, that were not on the review sheet, but they're very easy, but I wanted to point them out. If you want to kind of write them on your review sheet as something that we talked about, um, we, on your review sheet talks about cations and anions, but it doesn't necessarily talk about what is the charge of an atom. Does anybody remember the charge of an atom is? Ions are charged and atoms are neutral. Very good. Okay. So in your, in your packet, it does talk about how anions are negative and cations are positive. But it doesn't explicitly say that the charge of an atom is neutral. So if you don't remember that, jot it down. You could jot it down next to question 10 and 11 if you wanted, because that's where the ion portion of it is, if you care. Okay. The only other thing that I want to drive home that isn't explicitly on the review sheet here is why do things sink or float? What is, and we talked about this in the matter unit. What about something makes it sink or float? Does anybody know? It's density. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. So if you had something that was less dense, would it sink or float? If it's less dense, it will float. Very good. And if it's more dense, it will sink. So I just want to do over that again explicitly because we didn't do that many labs this year or this semester because we weren't here. Um, but that is something I think general knowledge that you do know. Um, but just to drive that home, you might see these types of things on the exam. Okay. So what we're going to do with today is we are just going to, again, have a little more time to, to work on the review packet. Again, it's three pages. So um, if you do a page a day, you're doing good. One thing I did want to point out that was brought to my attention yesterday is I apparently left whoops, half of the on number 10 and number 11. If you were very confused as to what that is, that's a true statement. Um, on 10 and 11, this second half is what, this is on the periodic table unit, the unit we usually get to, um, we just didn't get to. I thought I took it all off of the packet, um, but apparently the second half. So a cation is a positive ion. It forms by losing an electron. An anion is a negative ion. It forms by gaining electrons. Okay. So you're going to be moving into a little bit of thermochemistry here. Uh, specific heat capacity, Q is equal to MC delta T, a couple easy Q is equal to MC delta T. I do want to point out that there is a phase change calculation number 16 here, and there is a phase change calculation on the exam. Okay, so remember, you have to think of that little chart. The chart is in here somewhere. You could do him first if you wanted. Oop. Remember, a solid can warm, then it has to melt, then it can, liquid can warm, then it has to boil, then a gas can warm. So you got to remember those kind of roads that you had to pay to get here. So we're going to be steam at 120 and we will be ice at negative 25. So to kind of jog your memory, Q1, if you're steam at 120, you can't condense there. So how do you get 
to where you condense. Then you got to cool, or you actually have to condense. Then you have to cool your liquid. Then you have to, this is a five cure. If you care, you will not have a five cure on the test. Okay, we'll start you somewhere along there. But if you need more practice with this, if you have any of your old packets, my suggestion is that you get into unit number three, find one of the worksheets that's not done, and I can help you find the key if you need. Okay. So again, I'm going to try to give the next half an hour to you guys to do some review. I'm going to walk around in here. I'm going to check in with you guys at home. Hopefully everybody's feeling good. Everybody should have all the packets that they need now. Um, I believe I dropped off all the packets that everybody needs at home, and we all had packets in here, correct? Correct. All right, so that is your time. You are going to prepare yourself for a 15-question, 79-point assessment on Thursday.